ways to make and combine shapes in Maya. Um, so very first, I'm just going to create a couple cubes here. So I'm going to drag and pull up and create a cube. And I'm going to drag and pull another one up. And so I've got these two cubes, right? These two shapes, whatever they are for your own modeling. And if I have the same number of edges, so right now I've got one, two, three, four on both shapes. One, two, three, four. I can actually delete the faces and what they call target weld the vertex together. So let's say for whatever reason, I wanted to put these two shapes together and connect essentially from this point to this point, this point to this point, this point down below. So it's the same number of edges. So the first thing I've got to do is go into face mode and select the face and then just hit delete. And you'll notice I've got a little negative space there now, right? There's no skin on it on the inside. This gray is our material. The black just means there's nothing assigned. So now I'm gonna do it on the other one. So other object, go to face. Remember it's just right click, you go to vertex, edge, object, face. So I select this face, okay. And now I have to go back to object mode. And over here in my hierarchy, I'm gonna shift select both and I'm gonna go mesh and I'm gonna go combine and now they're the same shape. So P cube one, P cube two now has become P cube three and now I can use this target welding. And so when you look, you can see the vertex, I can click on one and pull it to the other. So I click on one, click and hold, right? And drag over and then release the button. So I'm gonna rotate around and so I'm gonna click and hold, and you can see that little orange line comes across. I'm gonna click and hold, and now all the way around, I've got that shape connected, and so that's one way to make shapes as well. Um, little tip, if you have a nice perpendicular and um, an edge that goes all the way around, if you double click on that edge, Let's go back, make sure we're in edge mode. Oh, I changed the tool. So it's not letting me do it because I got the uh, last use tool. I'm going to scale this. So now I can double click there and it's selected all the way around. Do it again. Double click. And now I can just scale in that vertex, or I'm sorry, that edge and create that shape and make it a little bit, I don't know, more narrow. Okay, so that's one little tool that you can use. So all you have to do, remember, is delete a face. So make sure you go to face mode, select the face, just hit the delete button, it'll delete it. And you do that for both of your objects, make sure they have the same number. So in this case, it's one, two, three, four edges. Um, if they don't have the same number of edges, you can still weld things, but it just gets a little bit tricky. Um, so you just want to make sure that you're welding the same number of edges. You might have to insert some edge loops or something like that to get the same number. Um, so that's one way. So that's using this target weld under your modeling tool. Okay. Um, another thing you can do, let's just delete all this. Okay, and I'm going to this time I'm going to use a sphere, so I'm just going to drag out and then I'm going to use another sphere and I'm going to drag out and I'm just going to push one into the other. Right, so you can see one sphere is into the other. If I shift select both, yeah, I can move them both at the same time. Okay, so now I can go up to mesh booleans and I can use all of these different objects like right here, right? I can use the difference A minus B 
B minus A, intersection, union, and it makes these shapes using the, sh the two shapes together. So let's watch this, union, there. Now it's created a new shape. See, it's all, all green. It's all now poly surface one. Okay, if I step back, I can also go to mesh, booleans, and I can do difference. And now you can see it's cut. It still leaves those spheres, okay, and creates this poly surface over here. Um, and so it uses those shapes to create a new shape. So the new shape, right, is just this outside part. Okay, and I can step back and I can go, that was, I believe, A minus B. This is B minus A, right? And so now I've got more of a hole. And basically A and B is the order in which you're selecting it. So and you can see now there's a hole in this poly surface. And it created that new shape based off of this other shape that was intersecting with it. So you can use booleans to combine shapes um, and intersect, slice, um, cut out, right? So now it's just cut out, it created a hole. And so they, they do different things based off of um, how you want to use those shapes, okay? So that is, again, making sure you have two shapes, put them together, shift select them, um, so you have them both selected. So you see one is green, one is white, right? If I have two selected, I shift select one. The original, the first one is white, the second one, or A, the second one is green, which is B, and I can do that in reverse too, shift. Right, so now that sphere one is white, that's my A, right? And the other one's my B. Mesh, booleans, so we're gonna do A minus B, and it creates that hole, subtract the B one. So that's how those booleans work, okay? Um, there's another tool that you should be familiar with and start to play around with. I'm just gonna delete these reset this back up. So I'm just going to create, uh, let's just create another cube. So any of your objects you can extrude. So I can take a face of an object, select it, hit command E, and you'll see this little menu pop up and these arrows. So remember arrows are moving and um, the squares are scaling. So I can move out another shape. And then if I come to the middle, I can move it freely. It gets a little confusing if you do that. Um, but then I can also scale both directions, right? And I can just extrude. And then if I hit Command E again, I can pull out another piece. And so you can see I can very quickly build up if it's relatively the same shape and just changing maybe size a little bit, um, I can very quickly build up, scale it out, some interesting shapes by extruding. Essentially, we're just extruding that face. So every time you want to go to extrude, hit Command E and then just pull out that shape. Okay, you can see it start to get a complex shape. Um, one thing that you should be aware of, you, there's this little, almost looks like a power button up here. This actually, <laughs> if you hit Command E, if you have it on an angle, it can kind of mess up. So you want to make sure that when you're extruding that the axes are perpendicular to the face that you're actually doing, right? And it really comes into play more when you start extruding edges and stuff, which maybe we should just avoid at this moment. Um, so if I go into edge mode and I select this, I can hit Command E. And so you can see, whoop, Command E. The axes are not perpendicular to the shape, right? So if I click there, there, now they are, and now they'll pull out straight. Whereas, the previous version, right, it pulls out at an angle based off of just where that edge is. 
So it can be a little bit more confusing to get it perpendicular, to line up perfectly. Just hit this little power button, see, and then you can get it exactly where you want it. So this is Command E, and again, you can just hit Command E again, and you can just keep pulling shapes out, scaling them down, okay, and creating some more complex shapes. So those are a few more tools that'll help you model and, and make things a little bit um, easier to maneuver and, and uh, manipulate when trying to use your reference images.